Today I'm going to talk to Jakob Törefors about the cost structure in a coating line and how efficiency measures the profit. Hi Jakob. Hi Andreas. Can you tell us how the cost structure in a coating line looks like? Uh, yeah, the normal way of uh, dividing costs uh, in a coating line is that you have the fixed line cost, you have the energy, you have the staff cost, uh, and you have the powder, and then you have kind of the rest hanging uh, costs, maybe masking costs. Mm -hmm. So that's the five normal uh, parts mm. in a cost structure. And together it makes like the, the total coating cost yes. in the end. Mm. Yeah. I think most of the components are self-explanatory, but could you explain a bit more what mean, meant with fixed line cost? Yeah, uh, I mean, the, the fixed line cost uh, basically consists of the investment to start with. You have to buy a line, uh, the machine, so to say, mm -hmm. the, uh, and the rent for that. Uh, and then you have the, the, the premises. You have to be in some kind of room mm -hmm. <laughs> under a roof. Uh, you have maybe heat or things like that, light uh, costs. Uh, and then you have to invest in, in the chemistry uh, to start with, depending on what kind of process you, you're setting up. And then, of course, you have uh, repair costs, things mm. like that, that over time you can consider as a fixed cost. Mm. Mm. If we take a look at these five uh, cost components, how fixed are they or how variable are they? Uh, it's a good question. You can't say for 100%, but of course, fixed line costs, the investments, you decide uh, that you, you, you have a certain amount of year that you, you should rent this, etc. Mm. Et that is fixed. Mm. Uh, then, uh, uh, the energy costs is a little bit more complicated because uh, even if you not run anything in your uh, in your powder coating line, uh, you have energy costs anyway, and and it's not linear, so to say, to how much you are producing. So even if you run your your line without any objects. Uh, you will have like 80-90% of the energy costs anyway. Uh, so so <laughs> energy is actually uh, a fixed cost or semi-fixed cost. Mm -hmm. And then you have staff, powder and the hanging, masking, these things. Uh, and they are of course variable mm -hmm. depending on how much you are uh, producing. But staff can be considered as semi uh, uh, fixed because in the short term uh, it's it's hard to just get rid of uh, staff if you need or so 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 yeah mm. a little bit like that yeah because quite often you have a number of people working on a coating line and it's mm. not so easy to get more or reduce mm. um, during a production day. Yeah, in most uh, countries in the world, uh, there are regulations how you can handle people. Mm. What does this mean in relation to the utilization? I mean, if you have a fixed line uh, cost, you have fixed cost that you spread out on all objects you actually paint. Uh, then if you paint more objects, you will have less portion from the fixed line on each part you paint. So, for instance, if you go uh, from one shift, full shift uh, production to three shift, uh, roughly speaking, you can uh, uh, reduce your cost with two thirds from the fixed part and uh, gain 
like 30%, save 30% of the cost. Thank you very much, Jakob. Thank you, Andreas. Thank you.